Hi, my name is Kent Powers, and I am the writer of Little Black Shadows. Little Black Shadows is basically a family drama that's set in and around a Georgia cotton plantation in pre-Civil War 1850s Georgia. What makes this a little bit different than other family dramas is that most of it we are seeing, the audience is seeing from the perspective of two child slaves who live inside the house, but aren't really allowed to speak during the day because their jobs are to care for the children in the house who are also close to their age. So we hear their interpretation of what's going on only at night when they communicate with one another under each other's beds. I was inspired to write the play um, by the Federal Writers Project. For those who don't know, um, basically late in the 1930s, the U.S. government sent writers all across the American South to interview the last generation of people who had been born into slavery, who were now free, before they died. So they wanted to document the recollections of this generation who had been born slaves and were now free. And what was interesting about it is, by 1936, most of these people who were still alive, their time as slaves was when they were very small children. And that kind of inspired me. It made me want to kind of tell this story of how, how would a child, how would they interpret things that we see them happening and we have our interpretations of it, how would they interpret or in many cases misinterpret those very same things? Well, I, I think audiences coming in should not expect to see tons of overt violence and cruelty. It really is kind of a, a family drama and from the slaves' perspective there's lots of magic and wonder and there is humor in it. The way I like to tell a story, I, I don't, I think sometimes you can make the strongest statement about a thing by not making a statement about the thing. This is not a play that's talking about slavery in any way, shape, or form. As a matter of fact, slavery I don't think is said once in the entire play. And by not talking about it, by just getting into the mundane, everyday life of people who exist during this time, people who are participants in slavery, often in a passive way as opposed to an active way, I think that's even more powerful because it reminds us that this is all of our history.